Elon Musk. We all know this man has gone nothing from the richest man in the world. Whether it's time to change the world with its autonomous vehicles or implanting a chip inside a human's brain, this man can do anything he wishes to want to. Now this time, he is planning something bigger that will give human life outside the planet. Yes, you heard it right. Elon Musk is planning to move humanity from Earth to the Red Planet. Elon Musk has mentioned his plans of taking humans to Mars for a while, and it appears his agenda isn't stopping anytime soon. The Tesla CEO and SpaceX boss has always been very vocal about his Martian ambitions. In November last year, Musk, who had mentioned colonizing Mars especially to give birth to human life several times, also announced that he wants to make his own laws on the Red Planet. In short, this man thinks it's entirely possible to begin shuttling thousands of people between Earth and our smaller, redder neighbor sometime within the next decade. And after the next few decades, or 40 years later, Mars will be home to a self-sustaining colony of a million people. Musk's idea sounds ambitious and he is looking forward to spreading humanity by colonizing different species, but one question that lies in everybody's mind, how Elon Musk will colonize the entire Mars? Well, if you're also thinking about the same question, you must watch this video. Hello guys, this is Connor from TechLocker, and today in this video, we'll look at how Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is planning to colonize the entire Mars. Hey, wait though, before starting our video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. So let's get started. When Elon Musk announced his plans to colonize Mars, nobody was hoping and thinking that his futuristic goal could be achieved in his lifetime. However, this SpaceX founder has penciled down the date where he would take off humans and landed on Mars as early by 2026, just five years away from now. While speaking on the popular social media app called Clubhouse, Elon Musk said that he wants to establish a self-sustaining Martian civilization and mentioned a timeline by saying that he will get humans on the red planet in five and a half years. To establish a self-sustaining Mars civilization of a million people would take 10,000 flights, with many more to ferry equipment and supplies. We're going to need something quite large to do that, Mr. Musk said. It would take 40 years to a century before the city on Mars became self-sufficient. The mission will start with a really big rocket, we can say at least 200 feet tall when assembled fully. In a simulation of what SpaceX calls its interplanetary transport system, there will be a spacecraft loaded with multiple astronauts. These astronauts will turn on the system and launch on top of a 39-foot wide booster that produces a whopping 28 million pounds of thrust. With the help of 42 Raptor engines, the booster will accelerate the assemblage to 5,374 miles an hour. Overall, it is said that it will be 3.5 times bigger compared to NASA's Saturn, known as the biggest rocket built, carried the major Apollo missions to the moon. Perhaps the SpaceX rocket would launch from the same pad, 39A, at Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Next, the rocket would deliver the crew capsule to orbit around Earth, then the booster would steer itself toward a soft landing back at the launch pad, a feat that SpaceX rocket boosters have been doing for almost a year now. Next, the booster would pick up a fuel tanker and carry that into orbit, where it would fuel the spaceship for its journey to Mars. Once it enters the route, the spaceship will utilize solar panels to obtain energy from the sun and deliver valuable and exciting landing on the red planet. Musk says that the capsule will remain in the orbit until there is a planetary alignment of joining two planets together. Ultimately, there are thousands of ships waiting in the orbit, and once it aligns, it will depart and land directly on Mars. The primary key of Elon Musk, and Musk planned to use each rocket booster a thousand times, each tanker a hundred times, and each spaceship twelve times. By his calculations, he would be sending millions of people to Mars. And no, it would not be a single trip at all, he will give people the option of returning back to Earth. After landing few spacecrafts on Mars, the human phase of colonization will start. However, landing heavy planet with a thin atmosphere will be tough to handle. But for now, Musk plans to continue developing supersonic retro rockets that can gradually and gently lower a much heavier spacecraft to the Martian surface 
using his reusable Falcon 9 boosters as a model. And that's not all. These reusable spacecrafts will move towards Martian atmosphere at a rapid speed. So it's not a small and simple task to design a spacecraft that can withstand a heated entry and give a safe landing which can be entirely refueled and sent back again to Earth to start over again. However, the primary purpose of the first journey will be delivering supplies and establishing a propellant depot on the Martian surface, a fuel reservoir that could be tapped into for return trips to Earth. After that, a depot will be set up and cargo will be delivered to the surface. Those humans who will be settled early on Mars will start digging below the surface and extract out buried ice, which will deliver precious crystal clear water and will be used to make the cryomethane propellant that will power the whole enterprise. As such, the earliest interplanetary spaceships would probably stay on Mars and they would be carrying mostly cargo, fuel and a small crew. Musk does have a plan for making Mars an attractive destination for long-term living. It would be a major attempt to use the same greenhouse gases causing the climate crisis on our home planet to make Mars's atmosphere thicker, warmer and more hospitable to life. Musk has promoted the idea that the process could be kicked off by dropping nuclear bombs on the planet. That's no surprise for any big technology development, but putting humans on Mars is a completely different challenge from sending humans into orbit, or even to the moon, especially when the goal isn't just a few casual trips. To travel to Mars with such a heavy payload, which may include up to 100 people, refilling midway is crucial. Elon Musk writes that he will send the spaceship up to orbit, refill it until it has full tanks, and then it travels to Mars and lands. In case of refueling from Mars, he plans to create a local propellant production. Since Mars has a CO2 atmosphere and plenty of water ice, one can make CH4 and O2 using the Sabatier process. Elon Musk said that the price of a ticket journey from Earth to Mars will cost around hundreds or thousands of dollars, with no guarantee in return even survival during the trip or upon landing. But despite the daunting journey, Musk sees a worthwhile trade-off. So what do you think will Elon Musk plan of colonizing Mars? Will be successful or will it remain a normal breaking news? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and we will be happy to hear from you. And if you are a fan of our videos, then be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for spending your quality time with us.